So hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about, actually not talking to you, I'm going to be telling you a story that happened to me and I kind of want your opinion and I kind of want you to tell me what you think of the situation. So let me give you a little bit of background. Uh, I think the title will say something along the lines of trying to buy a, a newer car or something, story time, whatever. I have been driving the same car um, for... 12 years now. Yes, that's right. 12 years now. I'm not one of those people that has a lot of money or, you know, money that are, I want to note or anything. So I've been driving the same car for the last 12 years. I've been driving it ever since I was in college. So that was a long, long time ago. Yes. <clears throat> so recently, um, because m of everything that's been going on and the age of the car, my husband and I decided that we are going to buy a newer car for me. I didn't say new car, I said newer car. Um, I think it's pretty to each to each her or his own, but I think it's kind of silly to buy um, a brand new car because the moment you drive it off the lot, it devalues by like what? 15 to 30 percent just depending on the car and especially with certain kinds of cars you're better off buying it a couple years older and you still get a lot of value out of it and cars nowadays um, can easily go over 100,000 miles easily and without having a lot of major mechanical problems so here's the story I have been on the hunt for a car. I've just been casually looking the last couple months, but the last month or so, I have been pretty serious about looking for a new car. And so, with that, where do we turn to when we are trying to look for things like this? We turn to ye old internet. And I started looking on the internet. And um, my husband started looking on the internet, and one day he gave me a call from work. He worries me whenever he calls me from work because Honestly, it's never been really good news every time he does that. But this time he told me, Honey, I found a car online from a local dealership. I don't want to give the name of the dealership. I don't even want to tell you what kind of car it is because in Houston there's only a few of these dealerships and I don't want to call anybody out. But anyway, he goes, It's such and such miles. It's this year, this, you know, X year model and it has, and you know, it's this X amount of price and I was like that is wonderful it was it met the specific specifications of what your models I was looking for the mileage I was looking for and the price that's definitely a very important part of the pie because if you can't afford it that's an issue or if you can but you're struggling to afford it that that's also an issue so I get online and nowadays if you go on to the um, major dealerships w websites they'll have a uh, live online chat during their business hours so I spoke to the person that takes care of that we went back and forth and she took my contact information my email my cell phone number and you know had good contact for me and said, well, let me see if this vehicle is in process for sale, and if not, then you're very free and welcome to come and look at it. I was not available to see this until Friday evening around 6 o'clock, so this is what I told her that I would see, I will come and see the car at 6 o'clock in the evening. Please let me know if the car is going to be sold by then, because here's the thing, I'm not putting any money to it, and, and they want to sell a car, so it's no harm, no foul, you know, it just sucks for me, but hey, if they're going to go sell the car, they're going to go sell the car, because I didn't put anything into it, so that's cool, right, so I go home, my husband goes home, we're super excited, but we had to drive almost 20 miles to, to this dealership from where we live, and we drove there, we get greeted, I meet the young lady that, you know, was taking care of me online, and she is just walking around, and it's, you know, not two minutes, it's not five, it's like ten minutes, she's still frantically, and she's holding a pair of keys, but I'm like, what's going on? And I jokingly told my husband, I think they sold the car, and she comes out to me, and she goes, we sold the car, <laughs> and I was like, Okay, 
Then she proceeds to have somebody else come out. And at this point, she's, they're not really saying that she, she reports to this person, but later on it's, it appears that she reports to this person because this person has more authority than she does. And he comes out and this is what he literally goes. He stands about 10, maybe 15 feet away from me. He goes, I'm so sorry. I, I got so excited. I, I barely ever sell cars. I'm, I'm so sorry, but I'm the one that sold the car and I should have updated this. I should have updated the system. And then that would have told this person, the young lady that was contact, my contact point, that the car was being in process or being sold to tell me, hey, don't bother or hey, just to let you know if you're still coming up or you want to come up, the car is being is sold. Okay. They don't update the system, right? So everything falls through the cracks. I drive 20 miles. Even then, on our way there, I'm confirming that it was a little rainy and drizzly and I didn't think that we were going to be exactly on time. So I even emailed her and said, hey, I think we're going to be a couple minutes late, but we're coming right now. Still nothing, okay? So then, so then, this is the part that is the most upsetting part of the story. So... They said, well, we have this car. It's very comparable. It's two years model newer. So the car that I was looking at was a 2013 model. And they had a 2015 model of that car. And I will, I will put it out there. They were not mean. They were not malice. I just don't feel like they really went out of the, their way for me or even showed any kind of empathy. Um, for our situation. So what happened was, here's the kicker. So they come out with this um, and they said, well, we have this 2015 model and <clears throat> they did the whole infamous, let me see if I can do this. Uh, this sheet of paper right here, you know, we're not supposed to show this to you, you know, what we have on inventory type of thing. We're not so really supposed to show you this, this to you, but right here is the MSRP, and this is the selling price. And, you know, somebody was interested in it, and they talked, you know, my, what turned out to be um, her superior, down to such and such price. Okay, we'll call it XYZ price. I can offer this car to you a thousand dollars less than what we're gonna list it at online. Really? So, so we can offer it to you at XYZ price. We're gonna lose like thirty dollars on this car, but you know, for your inconvenience, and we want to keep you as a customer. You know, we we we'd sell it to you at XYZ price. Let me tell you something. The price was a very reasonable price, but it was not in the range that I was looking to pay. That's why, hence why I was going for a model a couple years older and a few more thousand miles. That's just how it was. Now, was the price out of outrageous? No, it wasn't. It was very reasonable. But let me tell you something about this XYZ price. So I get this piece of paper, you know, saying, you know, it's going to be XYZ price. But, you know, that's just that. Okay. I go home. I'm so I'm just so upset. I, I run some errands while I'm on that side of town. Or, you know, just try to do something and get some dinner. Come back. Make the trip worthwhile. Because I drove, like, almost 20 miles from my house to go look at a car that got sold. And was not I was not notified that it got sold. So, then, I go online. And I feel like there's a bunch of insult to injury. So this happened Friday evening, not until Tuesday, maybe Tuesday afternoon, did the car that got sold get removed from their website. How, how long does it take you to remove a listing from a website? Really? So you sold the car, you couldn't take it down right away, fine. But don't you, aren't you in business on Saturday? Couldn't you have taken off then? Maybe Monday? No, 
not until like Tuesday afternoon do you remove it off your website. Number two, what happened was that car that got offered to me that was the 2015 model that was XYZ price that was so special for me. Guess what? Everybody and their mama and their auntie and grandma could buy it at that price too. At that XYZ price that they would lose $30 on. Really? Nobody goes into business to lose money, okay? So, that's my story. I'm still looking for a car. Um, my car still runs fine for now, but I need, I will eventually need to get a new car. But this is the frustrations of buying another car, and I just wanted to share this story with you guys. Let me know down below what you think of the situation. Do I have the right to be upset, or am I just blowing this out of proportion, and I just need to, I, I know I need to let this go, but let me ask you this. How would you feel if somebody told you at the end of the day, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to try to make this up to you and I'm going to sell you this widget to you for, you know, this, this is, we're going to, we were going to sell this widget for like $120, but for you, I'll sell it for a hundred dollars. But then you go on their website two days later and you find the exact same widget for a hundred dollars as well. I don't know. That's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was not beauty or skincare related, but you know what? Like I've always said before, this is my channel. I'm gonna do what I wanna do, and that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and thank you for staying subscribed if you've always been my subscriber. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you so much. Bye!